Hello, I would like to guide you through setting up TCP IP communication over Ethernet with Siemens S7 1200 PLC and PC, where you can simulate socket communication. All you need is PLC, Ethernet cable plugged into PC and installed terminal on the PC. I will provide links to all necessary files below the video. I tested couple of terminal software clients, but most happy I was with Socket Test and Hercules from Hardware Group. It's good to know basics of TCP IP. I will try to explain it very briefly, more more in depth info search online. TCP IP is using standard Ethernet hardware, like switch, cables etc., so you can use existing Profinet network hardware. It's master-slave asynchronous communication, so one device have to be master. In other terminology it's called client, which is little bit confusing. Other one is slave, also called server. Master is responsible for initiating communication, based on IP address and port number. Slave is just waiting for incoming communication on given port, then it can respond to master. In the example I will show you functions for TCP IP communication and then transferring and receiving some data. Example is programmed in Siemens TIA portal, version 15.1. Link for trial version is below the video. Let's get started. First I create PLC project in TIA portal with 1200 PLC. Then I assign IP address and subnet mask. Notice the PLC port identifier. This will be needed later on. Next I create function block with all transfer functions. They can be found in instruction menu on the right, group open user communication. I will create structure for controlling of connect function. It can be used only once for each function. Be aware to never create structure for connect tag by yourself, it never worked for me. Structure will be created automatically, when you configure block from property menu. Now we define server aka slave IP address, connection type, ID, ports and who is active partner. Active means master. Now when you click on connection data, select new and it will create connect DB for you, as I said earlier. I forgot to check option for cycle clock bits.
time for disconnect function. It's useful when you want to quit connection, or when it gets stuck. Again creating control structure. I made couple of mistakes. Now the send function. Control structure is similar. ID is the same, one, but there is data tag. Parameter length is zero, which means it send everything defined in data tag. In case you know exact size of data, you going to send, you can define length. In my case, I'm sending string, so I will create db for that. Last one receive function. Again control structure is similar.
I don't know the size of incoming data, so I will leave length at 0 and set ad hoc to true, which means it will keep receiving without knowing how much data is being sent. Let's try to download the program. As you can see, connect done bit was 1, which means connection to slave was successful. Now you have to open socket set program and set corresponding IP address and port, it have to be same as in connect function parameters. For me it's 192.168.142.130 and port number 29999. Now just click start listening and you should receive connection from PLC. If not, check the status number. Another mistake, N input should be always on, request bit should be set. As we can see, sending is working. Let's try receiving. I will add bit to activate function. Also those functions should be used, only when connection was established, done bit from connect function is on. As I'm receiving characters, I will convert it to string so it's visible.
somehow we lost connection, just disconnect and connect and should be working again. Boom here we go. And here's comes incoming characters. This is final code, which is working for me. I will share the code in comment below. Thanks for watching.